Welcome back to Singapore and the National Sailing Centre. After an exciting opening day of the SIM 34th Singapore Open RS1 Asian Windsurfing Championships 2015, all the competitors were ready and preparing their equipment for another demanding schedule of racing. This event plays a key role for all windsurfers in the region as they prepare for the upcoming 28th Southeast Asian Games, hosted in Singapore in June 2015. It's really good because the, the whole competition are run so smoothly and the weather is good and the racing committee had done a good job. To test if what we can do for the, for the Southeast Asian Games, what we should prepare. Right, back to the race course now. Another full day of three races for all classes. In the RS1 class, the new windsurfing event on the program at the 2018 Asian Games in Jakarta, the battle between the 2014 world champion Chen Kwok Fai from Hong Kong and Jiang Zizhou from China continues. Cheng holds the advantage, counting six wins from seven races. In the RSX men fleet, Natapong Ponoparat from Thailand set the pace, securing two wins from three races. Thailand also has podium potential in the RSX women fleet, with Siripon Kangwangungam leading. In the RSX Youth Division, Japan's Kensei Aikida has delivered an impressive scorecard to safely hold the lead. Over in the Techno 293 Youth Fleet, Dong Zhao Huan from China is proving unbeatable in the boys' division so far, with a perfect scoreline of seven wins. Singapore has proved itself as one of the best sailing nations with an effective youth and elite program. Recently, Singapore Sailing followed the lead of the Japan Sports Council and Japan Sailing Federation Talent ID program. The aim? To create a talent exchange program to grow windsurfing and establish effective international links amongst the next generation for the future. The Singapore and Japanese team train together as a part of the development program. For Singapore windsurfing, it's very important as we are new, we don't have much experience. So when all other competitors or other windsurfers from other countries come to Singapore, we get to uh, gauge our standard and whether we need to uh, increase our intensity and to get on their level. The SIM 34th Singapore Open RS1 Asian Windsurfing Championships 2015 is only halfway through. So there's still all to play for out on the race course. Tomorrow, the event gets even bigger.